Okay, welcome back folks. Professor Almeida here coming to you from my home office at last. Normally my wife uses this space, but I have the whole place to myself and you can see it's a very small space. And I'm sure that some of you can relate to this, especially if you're still doing classes over Zoom. Just to give you an idea of what it was like when we were all at home in response to the pandemic, my wife would be here running her Zoom classes. My daughter would be in the living room on Zoom with her class. And I would be at my so-called studio at the dining room table recording videos for my online classes. And I'm sure you've seen some of those videos with the yellow background, the blue curtain, and the art piece. Anyway, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to check in with all of you to see how things are. We are 12 weeks into spring 2022. We have a little more than just a month to go. And it's especially crucial now more than ever to stay focused and keep your eyes on the prize. If you've been paying attention to the news, it may seem like that the world has gone mad around us, right? Between the rising cases, the rising costs, um, conflict overseas, some of us still having to make difficult decisions about keeping our jobs or being able to enroll into classes. Okay, I want you to all understand first and foremost that you are not alone. Okay, I'm feeling the pinch over here too. And before the start of spring semester, I had to make a very difficult decision. And I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to get deplatformed, but I'm sure you could read between the lines because I'm sure that some of you had to face that same difficult decision just to be able to go to class. Okay, so with that said, uh, you shouldn't feel alone. I know that in an online environment like this, it can be very isolating and lonely. That's why we have the live chat. That's why we have the open collab forum. I know that some of you have started Discord servers and that's totally fine with me. Okay, whatever it takes to get through the classes. And, you know, we're all trying to get through the semester uh, with everything that's going on, okay? but let's make sure that we are meeting each other halfway, okay? Uh, I still have classes to run, you still have classes to take. Let's make sure that we're meeting each other halfway here. Okay, so with that said, if you need to reach out uh, because you're having uh, difficult situations, take a look at the link on the syllabus page in Canvas for some on-campus resources, okay? Uh, make sure that you're able to talk to someone uh, about what's going on, okay? Especially if it's affecting your coursework. All right, also, uh, you know, being online, especially asynchronous, it can be very difficult and distracting, especially since this is really the only time you get to see me and you're not always reminded of things, okay? Case in point, I did my master's program entirely online in 16 months. And just to give you an idea of what things were like for me, I was living in a communal situation at the time, okay? What you see here, this is just a product of my journey, but at the time, it was like living in a big brother house, okay? If you're familiar with that reality series. Uh, you know, a lot of people in one house, a uh, lot of noise, a lot of distractions, a lot of schedules to keep track of, and then not to mention, you know, my daughter also having to be able to take care of her. I was juggling two part-time jobs. I was teaching part-time at LBCC and at SMC. And if you know anything about uh, being part-time faculty, it's semester to semester, and you don't know if your class assignments are still gonna be there, either because of low enrollment or somebody decides to pull rank and bump you. So I was dealing with that along with the commute. And if you can imagine a triangle from around, let's say downtown LA, to the west side, to Long Beach and back, you know, I, I was dealing with all that and I still had to make things work online, okay? I'm telling you all this because you might have to go the extra mile, okay? For me, I had to drive out and go somewhere quiet. Uh, for me, that was going to a local McDonald's where at the time the seats were like in these little cubbies and I could just get a drink and then just use the free Wi-Fi and... You know, just use that time to just hunker down and, you know, get those papers out. Other times it was going to the library. You might not have that luxury. And again, I'm telling you this because you might actually have to go the extra mile to make things work. Okay. 
Um, again, especially with work-life balance, you know, things going on at home and uh, trying to meet all those obligations, you have to find a way to make it work, okay? Especially if you are looking to walk away from my classes with more than just a grade, okay? Especially with certifications, all right? So keep your eyes on the prize. We still have a little more than a month. Uh, there may still be enough time to improve and turn things around, but again, we gotta meet each other halfway, okay? I have given you pretty much just about everything you need to succeed, but you have to take advantage of what I've given you. All right, so with that said, please take care of yourselves out there and each other. Let's finish this final month strong, and I'll see you around. Take care of yourselves.